Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using this new stamp set from Mama Elephant called Little Girl Agenda. And I'm actually going to set it aside for a minute because I'm going to stamp it after I do some ink blending and some border stamps. So I'm starting out with some Nina Solar White cardstock. And then you, you can see that my usual black and white craft mat that has a grid on it, it's underneath this craft sheet. You can kind of see the lines. So I'm using those lines to line up a strip of post-it tape and I've masked off an area at the bottom of this cardstock. And then I'm taking some Distress Oxide inks and I'm using six different colors and I'm blending them on. And as I use the same masking tape or post-it tape, to blend on some of these colors. The colors are going to kind of mix a little bit, especially with the yellow and orange right here. They kind of look like the same color, but that's okay because I'm going to be adding some border stamps on top and I'll be able to make those strips look a little bit different by adding some images on top or some border stamps. So I turned that post-it tape around so I could get a nice clean edge for the for the blue color. This is Broken China. It's one of my most favorite oxide colors. And then I'm ending with Wilted Violet. And I decided I wanted to add a little more pink at the very top of this section. So I'm going to blend that on. You can see the difference in color with that purple and uh, blue beneath it, that it kind of deepened that pink color. So it gives it almost like a seventh color. So now I'm going to take the Boutique border stamp from Mom Elephant. This is one from a while back. And I absolutely love all of the different borders in this stamp set because you can combine them to create a really fun pattern. So I'm going to be layering these using some more pigment inks and oxide inks. So I'm going to use the white pigment ink from Simon's the Stamp just to add a little bit of color there. And you'll notice that it's pretty vibrant when you first stamp it but as it dries back it fades back quite a bit so you know just be aware of that I haven't found a perfect white ink yet I think um, if you want a really bright white it's you're better off just using some embossing powder but I kind of wanted a tone on tone effect with this so I didn't mind that it kind of faded back a little bit so I'm using different colors of oxide ink to add some border stamps on top. I'm going to overlap the yellow and green with this dot here that I've coated with some peeled paint, Distress Oxide ink. And I double stamped that to make sure I got a really good impression. I'm going to add some stripes onto the blue section. And this is Broken China that's blended on there, but I'm actually going to to stamp in wilted violet and usually with regular inks you couldn't put a purple on top of a blue like that because it wouldn't show too much but because these are oxide inks and they have that hybrid quality of pigment and dye together you can stamp uh, the same kind of tone of ink or a lighter color on top of a darker color I think it's really fun so I'm going to use the Friend Script Die for Mom Elephants, another product that's been out for a while, and it's one of my most favorite dies. I've used it quite a bit, and I'm cutting it out four times out of some more Nina Solar White cardstock. That's because I'm going to stack these up and create a dimensional die cut. So this is one of my most favorite techniques, especially with this particular die or with other word dies, because it really makes it substantial and it stands up and stands out on the card. So I'm using my Tim Holtz craft pick just to pull that out of the die. It is an intricate little die cut, so it takes a little time. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere one layer of this die cut now. Normally I would go ahead and adhere all four of them together and then adhere it, but I'm going to be doing some stamping on top of this blended area and I just need that friend die cut in there so that I can have the spacing just right for the stamps. So I'm using some tweezers to, to help guide that die cut onto this blended piece 
And now I'm going to stamp three of the little images from that stamp set I showed you at the beginning of the video. I've taken one of the stamps and I'm going to stamp that first. And the ink I'm using is Smoky Gray Versafine ink. And if I, I think if I was to make this card again, I would probably just go ahead and use black. But I was thinking that I wanted it to be a little bit more soft since that uh, border area has a little more soft color. So I have a little piece of masking paper that I'm just stamping that image on as well. And then I took my scissors and trimmed out that image and then peeled off the, the release paper, the backing paper, and stuck that down right on top of my stamped image. That's going to protect the area while I stamp around it. And this is going to make it so I can have these three little girls standing close together and not have any of those lines overlap. And look messy. This is going to make it look like this girl that's holding the sign is standing in front of the other two girls. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that and then I can peel up that mask. You can see that that sign is in front. So I've also got a little tiny gritty that says miss you from the same stamp set and I'm stamping that in the same ink color in the middle of that sign. So now I'm going to color all of these images. I'm using some Prismacolor Premier colored pencils and I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring. I'm going to turn on some music while I'm coloring since um, this is just really basic colored pencils. I will catch up with you after the coloring is finished. To finish off all of the coloring, I took the black pencil and darkened up their faces, and then I was ready to move on with the rest of the card. The card base I'm using today is from Nina. This is Solar White, and this is the 110 pound version. I've squared that at five and a half to create a top folding card. And then I trimmed off a little bit of length off the top and bottom and the sides of this piece here. I wanted it to just be a little bit smaller than a regular card front. And then I put some foam tape on the back and adhered that down onto the card. The last thing I need to do is finish adhering all of those die cuts together. So I'm once again holding the die cuts with my tweezers, dabbing on little dots of Ranger Multimedia Matte Adhesive, and then placing it on top of the previous die cut. And I like to adhere them like this because it allows me to use my fingertips to move that die cut around and really make sure that they're lined up perfectly. So then I put some dots of adhesive onto the card and then place that die cut right over the top. 
So that's the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Today's blog post and video is part of a blog hop for Mama Elephant. So if you would like a chance to win some giveaway prizes, make sure you head over to my blog and also visit all of the other stops on the hop. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.